Should the Fed should you be associating with the Federal Reserve, which kills so much business? I call the police. This Ridleyo is brought to you by friends of Blockchain.info. It's a great place for bitcoins to go. Mr. Roche? What are you guys protesting? Oh, I got a question for you. Should you guys you be protesting? should uh, should the BIA be associating what are you with guys the Fed? It will, it's an in the Fed protest that's going on here, but I have a question for you as a journalist. Um, should, who are you representing? It's RidleyReport.com. Should, should the RidleyReport.com, should, should you be associating with the Federal Reserve, which kills so much business? <laughs> yes, we absolutely should be reporting with the Federal Reserve. Yes. What's your opinion of legal tender laws that force people to use a currency that they would not otherwise use? Do you own gold and silver? I feel nothing. Except for us. Why? I don't know. So I can't. <laughs> What's up, dude? <laughs> oh, I just stepped on your foot. Oh, uh, hey. How are you? No. Are you a student here? No, I'm a member of the media. Okay. This is private property. This is property of St. Anselm College. Wait, so where you do can we go out on the street if you want? Are you with St. Anselm? Yes, Anselm? I'm the director here. Okay. And I've called the police. You're trespassing. So please go out on the street. Oh, okay. You don't. You have to, when you come on someone's property, you have to ask if you can come on someone's property. So well, you got this guy who is with the Federal Reserve. He controls our, we're leaving, but we, we got, he controls our lives, you know, to a certain extent. He's our business. That makes you our business. Excellent. I like being people's business. All right, carry on. Okay, if I were you, I'd get to your car and go quickly. That's yeah, what I'm going to well, do. Unfortunately, I did not drive. Oh, okay. Follow me then. Oh, uh, We're trying to get to our vehicles. <laughs> Are we allowed to go to our vehicles or not? Okay, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and go straight to the street, because okay. it sounds like... We're coming this way. Sounds like that's what he's saying. Yeah. The street would be public property, and we're almost to the street. Yeah, he's walking backwards, but I'm not. <laughs> Roll reversal. All right. Okay, so sorry for the delay in getting this part of the video up, this part two, but I had a lot of things that I wanted to say uh, into the video and hadn't gotten around to. Uh, first of all, um, there's one question I didn't get to ask all these folks, and that is where's the money going? I guess it's 30 or $40 a plate or whatnot. Uh, I wanted to know if that money was going to the Federal Reserve, to St. Anselm's, how it was going to, you know, where it was going. With regard to that business gentleman, Mr. Roche, um, who was a little bit hostile towards us, maybe he wouldn't have been so hostile if he had known, I think most of us would be the first to defend him against, you know, burdensome regulations and anything that gets in the way of New Hampshire business. And it's, you know, and it's at least in its legitimate pursuits. Also, Ian Freeman reports that one of the Federal Reserve guys uh, photographed his license plate as he was leaving. And again, I think there was only one, you know, bodyguard type person, bodyguard slash driver person there. And I am, again, impressed with the fact that they didn't try to have huge security. Or if they did have a lot of security, it was certainly not very visible. I can respect that. Another note, despite the sort of micro-carnival atmosphere surrounding this event, and despite our happiness at getting to question this official, I think we're all aware this is one of the more dangerous things that one, most of us have ever done or filmed. For once, we've been able to strike at the root a little bit, or at least question the root. 
instead of grappling the thorns. So maybe there will be consequences. The college guy is right there at the end that certain rights do apply to private property. Uh, this is a facility which does not ban, however, or limit entry and exit. No signs forbid being there outside. Uh, Non-students are almost always free to come and go. Many of us have been there many times. You know, Mitt Romney and Barack Obama don't kick people out. Well, I'm not sure Barack Obama's been there, but uh, Mitt Romney, you know, and the, the Republican GOP candidates, they never kick, try to kick anybody out of St. Anselm's College when they were there having a debate. There were plenty of protesters, not, not particularly restricted. Certainly no one would have been expected to have to ask permission to be there. I'm also wondering, I don't know, but does does St. Anselm's receive any state or federal grants, or even any city grants? I guess if it does, then that makes them less of a private facility than they would be otherwise. But again, I, you know, I think we'd be among the first to defend uh, this college's private property rights to whatever extent uh, it is a private property, not taxpayer funded. And uh, also, kind of by way of full disclosure, I should admit, you know, that this Federal Reserve guy isn't the only person who's guilty of funding the Iraq War. I am too. So are most of you. It's just that we're kind of doing it under duress. Or, uh, in some cases, like with me, you know, I sent care packages over there to troops toward the beginning. I was much more supportive of the effort before it became a long-term occupation I feel I was bamboozled, and uh, that makes me, you know, a little bit guilty too. So maybe I'm not the perfect person to throw the stones. But if he'd started answering those questions, I could have pointed that out, and then, you know, made that made that clear that I'm, you know, that we're we're all kind of guilty. Going back to the property rights issue, I, I got a shot of this sign here. Uh, the, these signs essentially direct directed us to park in certain places inside the university. So it was a little annoying to get. I mean, an unclear response from the guy when we asked him if we were even allowed to return to our vehicles. Okay, that's it. A lot of different thoughts that I had to add to the vid before I could put it up. Thanks, guys. This Ridleyo is brought to you by friends of Blockchain.info. It's a great place for Bitcoins to go. Some call it the best site to create a free online Bitcoin wallet. They have apps for Android and iPhone, plus get this, blockchain lets the encryption for your account happen inside your browser. That way even the site's owner can't access the account. It's just for you. Blockchain.info, it's a great place for Bitcoins to go.